You came out and said, you know, I'm not feeling it. You said, this is not the same uh, military I served under. Our enemies right. laugh at us. So then Joshua Kelly came out and clapped back, as the New York Post phrased it, and said the following to you and to Rob O'Neill, who also was critical. You only want to support the military when it benefits you and doesn't involve queer people. Yet the military is the largest, diverse, and adaptable organization in the USA. Well, as a service member, a queen, and an open queer person, you don't scare me, and you won't stop the LGBTQ plus community from thriving. Haters only hate when we're winning. Your response to him. Uh, well, first of all, this was supposed supposed to be a normal Thursday for me. I was supposed to film the show. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of a lax day. And then all of a sudden, ding, 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 ding. The whole crew starts blowing up. You know, oh, this is... Uh, this. And in fairness, of all the things that I have said over the course of my whole career doing this... This is probably the most mild thing I've ever <laughs> said. And uh, I actually was texting Rob O'Neill right before we got on here. Uh, I'm not even a Navy guy. I I'm an, I'm an <laughs> Army guy. Um, but I also was a recruiter for three years uh, while in the Army. And so I know all about um, in strength for the military and, and recruiting efforts, et cetera. My issue wasn't even this Joshua Kelly person. I, I don't even know. I didn't even know who that was um, until this came up. My issue was with the Navy and the the, the military in general. We're, we're 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 no longer going after the best and the brightest. Uh, we're going after woke feelings. We're going after honestly the sexuality of people, which is weird in, in the first place. What does that have to do with being in the military? The military's sole purpose in life is to defend America against all enemies foreign and domestic. What does that have to do with your sexual orientation? What color your skin is? What your religion is? It has nothing to do with anything. And that's that was my issue. Why I got picked up in this whole thing, I have no idea. I mean, it's not my first scandal. Uh, but like it's I said, not a scandal. I don't think my comment was that bad. It's not a scandal, Graham. Your comment wasn't bad at all. Don't let them shame you off of what is a very reasonable position. Who wants to serve next to that? Honestly, who wants to serve next to that guy in the foxhole? Not me. I, well, again, and, and let me clarify. I always have to tell people I have three positions. One position always outranks the other, and that's my Christian perspective from my faith position. You've got the American uh, uh, perspective, and then you've got the military perspective. From a military perspective, don't ask, don't tell was repealed while I was serving in the army. Um, in fact, the only don't ask, don't tell now is whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. But 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 either way, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, if 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 someone's sexuality or their religion, I don't care. If you're willing to go through the same things that I'm willing to go through, and especially somebody like Rob O'Neill. I mean, I did nothing compared to Rob. I you know, I mean, literally shot Bin Laden. But either way. If you're willing to do that and pick up a gun and run towards the war, more power to you. Uh, like I said, when when I joined the army, you weren't black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, nothing. You you were green. That's what you were. And you keep all that stuff to yourself. Now this Joshua Kelly guy, Megan, and and you might find this interesting, I was still in the army when all of this uh you know, speaking my mind about conservative values and virality on the internet and all this stuff kind of started. And my chain of command actually had to come to me and say, hey, if you're going to talk about this stuff, you can't be in uniform when you do it. Okay, cool. But then things started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the next thing I know, the sergeant major of the army is calling down going, who is this Graham Allen guy? He can't do both of these things. Now, my ETS was coming up, but I had to make a choice. Am I going to speak about my personal opinions, my personal values, and what I think is wrong with the country? Or am I going to continue to shut my mouth, put the uniform on, and serve the country? Because that's part of it. What's interesting to me now is that the military, the Navy, is now doing the exact opposite of that. They're going to these far left, less than 1% of the population, to go out and flaunt their sexual orientations out to less than 1% to join the less than 1%. It, it, it's hypocrisy. I think it's weakening our military because, again, I say, we're not going after the best and brightest. We're going after the wokest. And that leads to nothing. And I do believe it when I say our enemies are laughing at us. Newsweek wanted a quote, and my quote is always the same. I meant what I said, and I'm not sorry.
No, uh, you shouldn't be. And this isn't this isn't even, as far as I can tell, a sexual orientation thing. This is a gender confusion thing. Yep. I don't know what this guy's sexual orientation is. I don't need to know. But I said earlier, I kind of missed the don't ask, don't tell approach. I don't want to know if this guy's a drag queen in his spare yep. time. Um, I, I don't want to take part in it. And I certainly don't want the Navy fronting it in an effort to attract more guys just like him. I'm sorry, but there is an unusually high percentage of people in the trans community who are suffering from some very disturbed thinking and issues. And that's not the kind of people we want to recruit and give guns to. Um, I, that's, that's my own belief. I'm sorry, but I do think that there should be a, a certain level of screening for people like Joshua before we hand them a gun. Yep, absolutely. And and again, I've been out since 2016. So about the time this guy got in, I was getting out. But back when I was recruiting, like I said, I have a very in-depth knowledge of this process. If you were on Ritalin as a child up until a certain age, you were not qualified and you were disqualified to join the military. And now we're actively going after people. As you said yourself, a lot of the people in the transgender community, in the LGBTQ community, I I believe that Joshua Kelly, I could be wrong, identifies as non-binary. Uh, yes, fact check me on does. that. I, I think that's does. correct. When did all of this stuff change? When did it used to be Ritalin? You know, a lot of kids, need, you know, I, I think a lot of parents overuse that, but that's another conversation for another day. But a lot of kids grow out of that. A lot of kids have asthma when they're young and grow out of that when they get older. If you had that when I was recruiting, guess what? You couldn't get in. And now we're actively going after people that in the trans community, the LGBTQ community, there's depression rampant, there's anxiety rampant. And obviously there's a lot of medical things that go on that these people have to use and continue to take, et cetera. It doesn't make any sense to me. And you cannot explain to me how this effort is making our military a meaner, leaner fighting force. I always wanted to grow my own vegetable garden. Now I have a Lomi and it's changed the way I think about food waste. Lomi transforms my garbage into gold at the push of a button. Lomi is a countertop electric composter that turns food scraps into dirt in under four hours. Now I love composting. I didn't used to think I could do it. Plus it's made cooking at home fun for me and the whole family. There's no food sitting there stinking up my garbage or my kitchen. And thanks to Lomi, I have to take the trash out far fewer times each week. You can turn your waste into nutrient-rich dirt, too, that you can feed to your plants or your lawn or your garden. All your food scraps, plant clippings, even those leftovers can go right into your garden, helping grow more nutritious food right in your backyard. See the circle of life. You see it, right? Whether you want to start making a positive environmental impact or just grow a beautiful garden, Lomi's perfect for you. It's fun. Head to Lomi.com slash MK. Use the promo code MK to get 50 bucks off your Lomi. That's $50 off when you head to LOMI.com slash MK. Use that promo code MK at checkout. Thank you very much, Lomi, for sponsoring this episode. Don't forget, folks, turn your food waste into dirt with the press of a button with Lomi. Use the code MK to save 50 bucks. Lomi.com slash MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.